Okay, look where Ruby's going. She's going around our Regan's birthplace. Here it is. We're gonna go visit. They're gonna let Ruby in. They told us she could come in. She's gonna go visit Ronald Reagan. Next door, and then the uh, bank moved in, and the bank was in existence until the 1930s. Then it closed in the Depression, and it was the city hall for some while. After that, uh, when he was, the city hall moved out, and uh, the Nicely's, Mr. and Mrs. Nicely, started uh, doing the in information about Ronald Reagan and the family, and the Tampico, and they collected a lot of interesting things uh, throughout the, uh, the museum. They restored the upstairs apartment to look very much like it was when the Reagans were living there. None of the things up there were the Reagans, but they're very typical of the period of time when they were there. Um, okay. Mrs. Nicely's father had owned the bank, and therefore she and her husband were able to, uh, to get it. And uh, so they restored that, and then they purchased this building as well. Uh, to start a museum. Great. Uh, back, Jack and Nell Reagan, the parents, came from Fulton, Illinois. Fulton is about 40 miles west of here on the Mississippi. It's a Dutch community, and they even have a big Dutch windmill where the millers grind their grain oh. is something else you might be interested yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. checking out. Cool. Uh, neither Jack nor Nell were of Dutch heritage, but that's where they grew up, and they worked together in the store over there learned that Tampico was a growing, prosperous community, so uh, they moved over here as soon as they were married. And Jack went to work in the store across the street. It's, uh, it was the Pitney, excuse me, Pitney store. Uh, it is now is the break room, which is okay. a restaurant, uh -huh. but uh, it uh, was an excellent store. Um, all kinds of, of uh, general items. Mm -hmm. Like sold. a general store, okay. And cool. Jack was an excellent salesman. And back here is the uh, picture of the Pitney store. Oh, okay. Jack also did some uh, buying for Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Pitney, and uh, so he traveled around the community uh, getting things. This was, the store was a pretty upscale store as well. So... Well, almost like a like a department store and yeah. or someone store. has said uh, an early uh, Walmart <laughs> you, know, you can get just about anything there but the family lived upstairs for uh, six years and soon after Ronald was born uh, his older brother was born up there first and then after Ronald was born they moved to this little house this house is just a block south of here it's across from the park and it still is there but it's privately owned Okay. They were there until Ronald was about four years old, and then Mr. Pitney sold his store. Oh. So Jack Reagan had to find work someplace else. Huh. So they moved to Chicago, and he went to work in a, a department store in Chicago oh. for a short time. They decided they really didn't care for sh the Chicago life, so he got a job in Galesburg. And they huh. moved down to... Uh, Galesburg, and they lived in this house down there. Okay, yeah. And uh, I heard he lived there, yeah. The boys, the, the, the house is still there, and there's a sign out in front of it. And uh, so then uh, the boys went through a year of school in Galesburg. Then they moved on to Monmouth, 20 miles further over. Oh. They moved to that house. They weren't there very long because the man who had purchased the store died unexpectedly. So Mr. Pitney bought the store back and asked Jack Reagan to come back hmm. and help manage it. So the family moved back to Tampico, and at that time, they moved into the apartment above the store across the street. Okay. And they were here until he was 10 years old. And at that time, then, Mr. Pitney and Mr. Reagan purchased a shoe store in Dixon. So, uh, therefore, that's why. He, I have to tell the roundabout story for... Uh, people to know how, how he got around. Mm -hmm. uh, during the time that they were here, uh, in 1907, they began the Hennepin Canal, and uh, they were building mm -hmm. this out uh, just a mile east of town here. And so they had the, the water in it, and uh, it was supposed to be used to use barges for the farmers to move their grain. And uh, it was never, it, by the time they got the, uh, uh, by the time they got the boats and everything in there, the uh, railroads had taken over. Yeah, but yeah. that is where he learned to swim. 
Oh. And he became a lifeguard when they moved to Dixon and was oh. a lifeguard in the um, in the Rock River, which has a lot of, huh. um, it's a very strong current. Huh. And um, when he was the lifeguard for several years, he saved 77 lives. Wow. 77 people he saved? Yes, really? Yes. Now, uh, he was something. He, he did, did very well. Um, his father was Irish Catholic and attended our Catholic church. Mm -hmm. His mother was English Scottish heritage and she was Protestant. And she and Ronald attended the, the Church of Christ. Excuse me, you want to stop the first communities to have our own electric light plant? And oh. had all kinds of businesses. The, the whole Main Street was loaded with, with stores, and, and we had blacksmith shop, and, and hardware stores, and bakery, and all, just all kinds of things. But people even had time for a little other activity as well. And we had an opera house across the street. Huh. This was on the corner where the gazebo is now. And uh, so they had boxing matches, wrestling matches, dances, all kinds of things. They also put on plays. And here you'll see this play had Jack Reagan, Mrs. Reagan in it. Oh. This play, this oh, one yeah. had Mrs. Reagan in it as well. Hmm. She uh, helped direct the plays as well. She taught, hmm. uh, taught elocution. So they were a very talented, popular couple here in town. Now, he was back here in 1950 as a movie star, and that's what some of those pictures up there were taken. Oh, okay. Um, the picture with the two ladies was taken in Dixon, and the lady in the dark dress is his mother. The lady in the light dress is Mrs. Walgreen. The Walgreen uh, oh. pharmacy, oh. their uh, home estate was, uh, was in Dixon. Oh, I didn't know oh. that. Okay. The next gentleman is Admiral Reeves. He's also from here. And he was uh, commander in chief of the Seventh Fleet in the Pacific. Uh, he also had a lot to do with the uh, first aircraft carriers. Oh. So he was from here as well. Uh, okay, 1950. Then he was here in 1976 when he ran for president the first time. And uh, we had a, a celebration when he was here and such. But he promised us he would come back. He did not make it while he was serving as president. But Mother's Day 1992, first thing he did uh, when he got here was he and Nancy attended the church where he had, had attended oh. in, with his mother. And here they are going into church. Uh, After oh, church, okay. they had uh, lunch downtown at our famous Dutch diner, which uh, oh. is no longer, but it, it uh, was quite a, a great place to, to eat back in those days. And then uh, they came down, down here for a tour. And we have several pictures taken at that time. Mm -hmm. But uh, our volunteers knew that he would show up. And so they had this rug prepared for him. Oh, ah. look at that. And so there's a picture of him oh, yeah. stepping on, on the rug. rug. Oh, yeah. Huh. Ronald Reagan slept here. Look at no, that. He stepped. Stepped. He stepped. Oh, stepped here. Ah, stepped. I said slept. Well, Look a lot at of that. places you go, you see that. He stepped here. <laughs> what do I know? Yeah. I don't know anything. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, over here, this is his uh, class picture. And up here in the corner, that's him with his hand on his chin. Where's that again? Mm. Right up here in the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not sure what the reason for that was, but you'll see that we have pictures throughout the... Uh, you muse museum with him doing that. Sunday school class. <laughs> yes, that's a Sunday school class. That's him back there. Huh. And uh, that this is a cradle roll from the church showing his birth. Hmm. And then uh, this is a teacher's report when he went from fourth grade <laughs> into fifth grade. He got A's and B's. Oh, it says over him. here was an excellent student. <laughs> And uh, then we have... Edwards. So they had a Ronald Reagan trail you do, huh? Ronald Reagan trail, yes. Cool. It's, it's the, uh, from Dixon to, uh, to Eureka, and each town is represented as a Re Reagan representation. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Oh, There's yeah. the uh, picture. There's the rainbow, the double rainbow, the night before mm -hmm. the election. Uh, that is something. In his uh, autobiography, here uh, in American Life, he tells about, uh, about receiving them. Huh. The rainbow picture down here. Photo was taken of a rainbow. Hmm. And then uh, on the day of his funeral, when they were taking his body from Washington, D.C. to California for the burial, 
the plane came directly over Tampa. Oh. We had 15 minutes notice. Wow. And, uh, wow. It came down very low, dipped its wings, and flew on. It flew through, huh? And this was in Time Magazine. Shows Nancy, Ron, and his wife looking out the window of the plane as they passed over. Hmm. Fantastic. In here, um, we just have a lot of different memorabilia. Uh -huh. As I said, this building was a grocery store, uh -huh. and that's a picture of what the grocery store looked like. Okay. And that's Mr. Seymour, who owned the grocery store. Hmm. And then his daughter and family lived upstairs above this one. I got gotcha. you. And How you got have all books? kinds of memorabilia here. Uh, different books and, and such. Uh, these are Christmas cards that uh, people, uh, these up here were received by... Uh, one of the secret servant servants agents, service agents who uh, served. Check out that hat. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Very mm. cool. I like the memorabilia. Oh my gosh, what's this here? <laughs> Looks like slippers. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And we had two hotels even. That one was across from a park, just close to where the family had moved. And this one was the Pitney House, and it was located down on the corner where the fire station is now. It was uh -huh. a livery stable as well. It didn't have a fire, but they restored the building, and then it became the Rogers Hotel. Gotcha. So they got the sign, Walk Home Dutch. Yes. <laughs> That's right. This uh, was, uh, these are some pieces of the Berlin Wall, which oh. was donated to us by a lady wow. who had lived in Germany. Wow. And uh, That's she cool to have. brought those to us. Now, the colored picture uh -huh. uh, for his first inauguration in 1981, we took three buses of local people out oh, for the inauguration. Wow. And we had a great big uh, botanical sign standing on bleachers watching the parade. And our photographer caught him just as he is uh, pointing huh. at us. Ah, uh, he's saying hello to you. Yeah, I see that. That's a cool huh. picture. Yeah. That's one to remember. It, huh? it, it certainly was. Yeah. yeah. Did you go? Were you in Yes, the... I did have wow. the privilege of getting to go. Uh, as I mentioned, the railroad's coming through. This is our local railroad uh, train. The CB&Q railroad came through here on the way to Chicago, but then this short line train went to Hoople in Yorktown. It was H, Y, and T. We'd go down to uh, Hoople, and then we'd have to back up because there was no turnaround for it. So they called that train, not the H, Y, and T, they called it the dummy. Because oh, it had the little problems. Oh. And this is a better picture of it. Okay. Here. Oh, there it is. The old steam engine. Mm hmm. Yeah. And you can see as it's going through the, if the fields were dry, they might have had a few little I problems. Bet. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Such. Cause a fire. Yeah. But the kids loved the train because it went real slow. They could run to the edge of town and hop on the caboose <laughs> and ride into the depot and such. But we had a stockyards down here. I see that. And you'll see there's a young man standing. Oh, that's him, there. I bet, right? With the, mm -hmm. his, right there. With his hand on his chin. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Huh. That's him. He's doing a chin thing, huh? Yeah. It's kind of crazy, that is. Okay. But then uh, we can go in to see the bank. Okay. But, uh, it opened across the street in 1908. Uh -huh. They moved here in 1918, and uh, it existed until the 1930s. Oh. Then when it was the city hall, or said after it closed, it was the city hall. And then uh, when the when the city hall moved in, they re uh, moved all of these fixtures out and, and redid it in here. Check that. When our new owner purchased this later on, discovered that. All these were in the basement. They found wow. the floor plan wow. and put it back together. And this is exactly as it was when it was a working bank. In 1918? Wow. Yes. Wow. It's beautiful. Look at all the decorative yeah. work. Check and that the, out. The Check the out that way. map up there. Yeah. That's a copper relief, it looks like. Yeah, it's, wow. it's very unique. Uh, the, wow. The nicest, did a wonderful job. And there's a steam place. train, huh? Yep, there's our H, Y, and T train. You can huh. ride on through. Okay. Now Check down out. in the park, the park is just, just a block south of here. Wow. There used to, whoa, oh, it, it does that, sorry. Uh, there used to be a Civil War cannon down there. That is not him. 
but he loved to do that. Uh, loved to play on it. <laughs> that went to a scrap drive. Oh, and uh, so now down in the park, we do have this statue. Uh, of him of standing on the cannon, huh? With a young boy standing on it with his hand on his chin. <laughs> uh, in order to pay for this, uh, we sold bricks and pavers. People put their names on them. Yeah. So it's, it's a memorial, memorial uh, area down there. And the man who did the statue belonged to the Teak fraternity, as mm -hmm. did Ronald Reagan. So that gentleman gave us the, the Oh, oh that's cool. Very cool. And uh, this was the Christmas card picture, Christmas picture of the family in um, 1916, I believe it was. And it was Jack and Nell, and then this is Neil, mm -hmm. and this is Ronald. Huh. And that is Ronald, but he was not <laughs> old enough to have long pants. Look at that. And, uh, it's hard to explain to people that that's, that was the That's tradition. what he did back then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tradition. So okay. Go back here. And these are original books we found here in the basement. Among them, this is a weekly report of all the depositors hmm. in the bank. And it starts on Monday, December 19th, 19, December 22nd, 1919. And wow. Mrs. Reagan had $95. She put $95 in. <laughs> she had $95. And on December 24th, that was a lot of money back it, then. Really? Yeah. Yeah. December 24th, she withdrew $2. <laughs> Christmas Eve, she took $2 out. Trying right? to figure out what all she could buy, because she could buy several things probably yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, picture of Ronald Reagan, uh, it's like the Illinois, uh, uh -huh. state of Illinois. Cartoon? Uh, yeah. Yes. And that was presented to us in person by the artist from, from uh, Russia. From Russia. He oh. came all the way to huh. present that to us. Cool. He grew up during the Reagan era and was a great fan. Fan of his? I see. And, wow. Uh, this is a coin dispenser. Yeah. Oh my and gosh. Back in the old days, I've seen those. Yeah. And we hand it to the customer. Yeah. And, and then, uh, when a person, these are original checks we found down in the basement. Huh. Wow. And when a person would write a check, it would get to the bank and uh, be recorded, and then it would be canceled that day. Hmm. And then at the end of the month, you would receive your canceled checks along with your statement. Oh, yeah, oh that. my gosh, yeah. so look at that. Today. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. have a uh, souvenir. Oh, well, thank you. Today's hey, data. thanks. Huh, cool. Now they, they moved everything over here down into the basement, but this stayed here. Oh, that's the safe. Weighs uh, about 4,000 pounds. Wow, look at this thing. And uh, some kids got in here. There was nothing here, but uh, they were working upstairs, but there was nothing downstairs. And um, I don't know what they thought they were going to get, but they didn't get it because they knocked the combination off. Oh, my gosh. So then the locksmith had to come and get this. Open it up. Oh, gosh, look at that. Wow, look at that. Huh. You don't make, like, they don't make safes like that no more. No. This came all the way from... Uh, uh, Ohio and wow. by rail and across the street and then they moved in here. Now to get in this you have to run the combination and then there's this wheel you put huh. on the shaft and then inside just an area that has a shelf on it and oh. that was for the bank's use. Huh. But now when the banks closed some people forgot that they had left anything in their safety deposit wow. boxes. So back here, we have things box. people left behind. Don't tell me. Wow! Look at oh this. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You do have things they left behind. Yeah. Wow. So that's uh, from 1918. Over a hundred years ago. Wow. For 90 cents. <laughs> and to try to figure out 90 cent check. The reason for being wanting to save that and then forgetting it. it it's really. Could make quite a story. That would be a story, wouldn't it? To investigate that. <laughs> Very cool. Well, this isn't. Yeah, I think it goes the other way. No, it, it oh. has to go this way. Oh, I there see. You okay. Yeah. You know more than I do. That lid is kind of loose. We need to get that kind of taken care of here. Huh. Highlight was in place, and it was screened. 
so they could get the fresh air uh -huh. and it brings a lot of light in in the winter time. Um, the apartment has three bedrooms and they all have closets, huh. which is quite unusual. Yeah. Uh, it rented for $10 a month. Hmm. And Jack Reagan was making a dollar a day across the street, but Nell was very enterprising and very talented. She took in sewing and mending. Uh, she taught elocution and voice and piano and uh, was just a very talented lady. He learned to ride horseback when he was here. Uh, this is actually taken in Dixon. Mm. And if you happen to go to Dixon, be sure to go <coughs> down to the riverfront because there is a statue that's very much taken so, from huh. this picture. Oh. He has his glasses on there. He had very poor eyesight and was among the first people to start using contact lenses. I didn't know that. That's oh. his mother, brother, and himself. And here he is getting ready to go swimming. That's him, <laughs> his brother, his dad, and his mother. I like to point this picture out because uh, he was a little over three years old, <laughs> but he's got his American flag all over. Oh, yeah, he does, yeah. This is another picture of that cannon, and that's his mother and her sisters I see. on it. So he rented this place for ten dollars a month. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. People are usually quite surprised at the size of it. Uh -huh. It's pretty big, yeah. Big, big, big apartment, yeah. Here's their their parlor, and this is where they could uh, entertain their friends, maybe do play practice or whatever. Mm -hmm. huh. And then this is the Wilson family, and that's his mother and dad, and his mother's sisters and brother. And here's another picture with the hand on the chin ah. bit. That's him again? Yep. With his hand on the chin. Uh -huh. And that's his brother, and those two are cousins. And that's one of the times he and his mother were back. And here's Jane Wyman. Ah. He and Jane were in six movies together. He and Nancy were just in one movie together. His mother was a very religious lady and worked with the church, uh, did newspaper articles and such. Oh. And uh, her Bible was used in... Uh, both inaugurals. It is out in California at the library. Oh. And her favorite Bible verse was uh, the seventh chapter, 14th verse of Second Chronicles. And we see that verse listed every month quite often. I see. Uh, that's the bedroom where both boys were born. Oh. And he was born about six o'clock in the morning on February 6, 1911. We had a huge snowstorm the night before he was born. The trains couldn't even run because the drifts were so high. Huh. But Dr. Ta Dr. Terry and a midwife made it because Dr. Terry's office was down on the corner and the family mm. lived upstairs so he could come down the sidewalk to do it. Ah. But it was a very difficult birth. He weighed over 10 pounds. Wow. When his dad saw him, he said, he makes a heck of a lot of noise for a fat little Dutchman. <laughs> and he loved to be, be called Dutch, even though he wasn't of Dutch heritage. But, uh, 10 he pounds. Him. Yeah. Just, He's a you know, big right baby. Here. And right here, you know, no, yeah, yeah, nothing but the, the he that's it, life, the yeah, life. a lot of pushing. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't have any more children after that. Uh, he was it, huh? Yeah. And so that was uh, called, considered the guest bedroom. They could shut the doors to, you know, conserve uh -huh. heat. So this was actually Jack and Mel's bedroom. Okay. And she didn't really care for the skylight. Because you see, it's in, here in the bedroom oh, as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if it if they had a lightning storm, it'd know, be up all night. Came in the middle of the night. Yeah. Sneak so in here. This is, this is just a pantry. Okay. Ah. And then here's the kitchen. Of course, they had their party line telephone. Oh yeah! Look at that. <laughs> and our stove. That is so cool. Our stove is missing its reservoir. That would have been the pan hooked on here where they would have heated their water. Wow. And then this would uh, stone would hold the heat for a long while. And they could heat their beds. If they were going on a buggy ride, they could carry that as, as some heat. Hmm. Here's the uh, irons. Yep. As one cooled down, they could keep turning them. Hmm. They used to keep water in these green bottles. I see. The, uh, Rolling pin is from the Pitney store, and it was actually made down in Monmouth, and the family lived in Monmouth for a short time. Oh. And then this is a dry sink. <laughs> it would have had it. Uh, yeah, that's old pump, time. But they'd have to carry the water in and take it back out. Yeah, that's the old but time. This is my favorite antique. Oh, yeah, what's that for? 
It has nothing to do with the sink. Did you have like to take a uh, guess? I don't know. It looks like something for a fruit or something. I don't know. Apple? I don't know. It's a double cherry pitter. A cherry pitter? Huh? So Look you that. drop the cherries in there. Yeah, and you take the pits push out. Push the pits huh. out. And as it came back, then the cherries would fall off there. And, huh. It's my favorite. That's there. interesting. And then the know. ice box, of course, they got the ice out of the canal and the drainage ditches in the winter. That's the ice box there. We had an ice house oh. in town that was um, insulated. And so then they would, the ice man would come along and, and put the uh, hmm. ice right here. Yeah. And there's a drain hole at the back as huh. it uh, melted. It would go into a pan under there that had to be kept in shape. And then they would just keep the, keep the things cool. In. Yeah. Wow. Nice cool milk. And they had their screened-in porch, which was their summer kitchen. Oh. And so they had a, oh, yeah. a kerosene stove to do the cooking. And then this was the sign for the ice man. <laughs> they would hang this in the window. Oh, tell them how much they need. Whatever number was on top was how much ice they were ordering. Oh, uh, cool. That's something new. This is an ice home. Yeah. They would. Uh, well, I, I remember I seeing that from the Three things. Stooges when they were ice oh, uh, <laughs> Okay. And I mentioned about the funeral home having a shop. There's a picture of the funeral home oh. with uh, oh. those ba baby buggies that they were making. Oh my gosh, look at a baby buggy. Huh. Wow, that's fancy. Look at that. Made out of wicker. Mm -hmm. this is wow. Very cool. Well, I want to thank you very much. So What's your name again? Joan. Joan. Yes. Thank you, Joan. Welcome. So I just... Uh, they built these buildings, there are 13 buildings on Main Street that are on the National Register. And they, because of the architecture, they built these buildings around 1895. They would put one building up and then they put the next one, uh, they use the same Right wall. next to it. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Wall. So these are two different buildings. Yes. So when they did this, they left the windows in. So there are three windows that join the two apartments. Huh. Well, fortunately, the neighbors were good friends. And, uh, <laughs> so if they wanted to visit... They did not have to eh, go right through the window. They could just come to the window. Ah. So uh, they could save steps by coming sure. to the window. They also had built-in babysitters this way. So as a baby, Ronald Reagan was handed through this window. Ah. When he visited, it, visited, visited us in 1992, he got to climb through the window. Again. So we call this the famous Reagan window. When we <laughs> have groups or something, we will run them through. And then send them down sure. the other stairway. But uh, very cool. So that's uh, so that's about all I can tell you. Or thank I can you. Tell you more, I guess. But uh, appreciate it. That was a wonderful walking tour. Basic. That's it. It's like private tour. <laughs> <laughs>